so this is how the bot will work. If you want to find out how to create something similar for any website, watch this video where I explain how I did it for this website. The process is very similar for any website on the web, so you can adapt it to whatever website you need. By the way, this video was suggested by one of our subscribers, so if you have any new video ideas, please let me know and I will make them. Let's get started. First, you will need a Python library called Selenium. I won't show you how to install it as that's pretty easy. So let's get straight to work. First, I'm going to create a class because I know I will need it later and create a login function. That function took me a while to create because uh, it was pretty hard to get the login page. The button wasn't working as you can see here on the video but after some Google searches I found a URL where the form is showed automatically and that helped me a lot. Uh, every website is different so you may have different challenges but usually after you learn some basic things like clicking buttons, filling forms and opening URLs you should be good to go. Also some websites, is, some websites might require CAPTCHA, this one didn't so that was easier but you can also automate CAPTCHA or you can do it manually when you log in. Also this website showed me a cookies notification so I, I had to accept the cookies too before doing anything else or else it won't work. You may not see it in your browser if you accept it once. So here is the login URL that I found. Now I don't have to click any buttons to get the login form so I can just fill in my username and my password you can do that by uh, finding the element with selenium there are a lot of ways to do that the easiest and best way is by ID but not every field on a website will have IDs so you should also check by class or another thing is CSS selector I done all of this in this tutorial so you can sh see all of them in action there is also a link in the description to the end result if you want to check it out I've spe speed up most parts of this video because it took almost an hour to record it and now I'm just voicing it over. So here I'm trying to make sure that I got the right selector by using CSS to make the background black and as you can see the background is black so I can go on with my form filling. As you can see, first I like to clear the input field before sending any text. I think this is standard for most Selenium scripts. Now we got the button ID and we are going to click it. You don't have to create a new variable for it if you are going to call just one function. Even if you are calling multiple ones, you don't have to create a variable but it's cleaner this way so this is why I created one for the email and password field because I called two functions there now that the login function is working fine we can we can go on and create the add to cart function this one is going to take in a link and it's going to add it to your cart also here you can make some changes and if something is not in stock try to refresh the page every few seconds and try to add it to cart then 
and then go on with the checkout but I think this could be a follow-up tutorial if anyone is interested as that is more complex and also I couldn't find the thing that was out of stock right now for this website to show you how to do it also you can call this function with uh, multiple links and it will add all of them to your cart here I check the if the button I got is correct and it is the selector for the button and I just click it now let's test it, make sure everything is working fine. As you can see the card it shows zeros and now you can see it's one, which means it was added to the card. Now let's go on with the checkout. First we check it manually to make, to get the needed buttons. Here I had some problems with the cards, but if you access the URL directly, you don't need to click that button. Also, that removes one extra step and when it comes to coding scripts that work on other people's websites, any steps you can remove is a lot better because there are less changes for your script to stop working and even if it does stop working you'll have to update less things so this is why I've decided to go to that URL directly and here we are going to select the payment method you should already have a credit card added to the website so you don't have to add it every time and you are just going to select it and the website should take the money automatically but first make sure everything is working so you don't end up with a lot of charges on your credit card or use something for test something else for testing and then use your, your credit card when you are sure everything is working fine you can also use other payments from their websites for example you could also automate the pay by paper button by logging into your paypal account with selenium too but that's a lot of extra work and i don't think it's worth the effort here i'm trying to find out why the button wasn't clicked and i got an error from selenium that practically means that uh, the button is not visible and in the end I found out that there were three buttons with the same class but I've also found out that you can just go to the next URL in the checkout process and it will work fine so an extra step removed and it's a win-win again on the payment list there were uh, the same there was the same class for every element in the list so I just got the third element which means paying by credit card and selected that by using find elements instead of find element and at the end selecting the third I third item and now it should be working fine let's see yeah it's working fine we can go on with the checkout process so here is the button i was talking about that i had some problems with in the end it turns out there were three buttons with the same class this is why i said it's better to select by id because you are sure there is only one element with the same id on any HTML web page because it's not possible to have multiple elements with the same ID. Now let's test it again. When you do this, you have to do a lot of tests to make sure every step is working fine.
and it's working. I won't do the final step of checkout because I don't want to make fake orders, but I wrote a comment. As you can see how to do it, it's pretty easy. That's it for today guys, please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you have any suggestions for further videos, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, bye bye! Also here is a preview of how the script works in the end, I hope you liked it.